Hello and welcome, people. Um, terribly sorry for the late start. Uh, as uh, I had some things to attend to, at the same time I had to prepare for um, for the stream. So, um, alright. I'm gonna do a little bit of Euro Truck, and after that I'm gonna do some trains. Now I've got the cargo prepared already. That's good, I guess. Yeah, I basically uh, spent a bit too much time on um, on preparing the cargo. I've got it now. All right. Uh, want to take a different path than what the game is giving me, simply because there's uh some more interesting roads to uh to take. I absolutely want to go through the town of Egeskov. That one was absolutely brilliant, and I would like to explore this the this road as well. It's gonna take us a little around. I think it's gonna be good. Obviously, there's still a lot of roads for me to discover. I have been recording videos from this map quite a lot actually <laughs> so prepare for a September just just filled with them with the Grand Utopia as I pretty much switched to this rather than promotes <laughs> as I'm waiting for promotes to be updated for 1.48 so yeah um, expect a lot of videos from this map anyways got the path set Yes, can go and hi as well. <laughs> Trains is still planned for today, but I figured that I would like to stream some more of uh, Grand Utopia to mix it up a little. And then I'm gonna hop into Trains again. I wanted to record a little bit of uh, Euro Truck as well, because I don't really get to do it. At least I didn't get to it yeah, yesterday and the day before. Actually, I did get to it yesterday, but very late in the night. So it wasn't my best drive. And therefore that video I would not consider the best quality of mine. At least not in the sense that what I consider as a quality video. But if you know how I record, then you know like what I'm trying to accomplish with my videos. So yesterday's recording, it being in the middle of the night, did not really uh, pan out that good for me. I had few crashes, <laughs> but I've decided to keep them in. So yeah. In that case, I will be joining you later on. Do have some more stuff to do before tonight's Minecraft stream to popular fun on Grand Zopia. Oh yeah, fair enough. I hope you, whatever you're doing is gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah, he'll have said to Bye everyone. Alright, see I can go and enjoy your preparations. Uh, just just in case, uh, bef before you leave real, uh, real quick. I think this drive is going to take approximately one and a half hours. Just in case you uh, are wondering. So as to when to expect the train stream to begin. So yeah. Yeah, you're welcome. Here I can go. Enjoy. 
Oh yeah, by the way, did you know that you can actually board this ferry and it will take you to the island? It's just a little bit buggy and I do not recommend doing it with a trailer. But the ferry on this map is animated both for this island and the other island as well. I believe it's Denver. You'll be posting a message on Discord when you answer us. Yeah, I can, sure. I will. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so. Continuing on our little journey. I put the waypoints on some of the more interesting roads, at least what I think are gonna be interesting roads, judging from the map view. And I hope... That, oh, that was a bad thing to do on my part, sorry car. But I do hope it's gonna be fun and interesting. But yeah, I, I have been enjoying Grand Utopia quite a lot. Honestly, very well made map. I would probably say it's the best map I've played on so far. With like the modded maps. But I think part of it has to do with the fact that it's uh, fictional. And therefore it leaves a lot of room for creativity and... Uh, imagination to fill in areas with it's an absolute plus to drive this as well the roads are well there's the highways and then there's the small roads and Honestly, I've been longing for a map with uh, these smaller roads, and I'm so glad I found this one. But it's fun! In the base game of Euro Truck, you pretty much just... Like, majority of the roads are just highways, which... Um, now times tend to get a bit boring. So in the latest DLCs and map reworks, we have been getting uh, more smaller roads like this, which is absolutely amazing, and I'll have to explore more of them. But yeah, it's just wonderful. <laughs> and that's the island where we started at. See it in the distance. Oh, that ferry turned around. Okay, interesting. Now I'm starting to think that they actually might not be taking you all the way to the other harbor. I'm not sure now. Definitely would be nice if they did.
Oh yeah, let's, um, let's actually save what we're holding. Now you might be able to uh, check with the ADR signs. We've got 30, 1202. Now as far as I could tell, it's supposed to be diesel. But the actual thing we are transporting is oil. So I'm not really particularly sure on the correctness of the ADR signs. There is a website where you can check for such stuff. But yeah. I would have probably checked and put the correct ADR sign on my truck if it was not for the fact that the trailer had its own ADR appear when I've uh, accepted the cargo. So the 301202 on the trailer with a flammable tree is um, from the game, like base game ADR sign. Well, on the front of the truck is uh, what I can put. I decided to go with what I have on the trailer as well, because that's... Uh, I feel like that's more fitting and more realistic if both of the... both trailer and truck show the same sign. Despite it not necessarily being correct. But oh well. I've also purchased some more trailers for the Grand Utopia. I've got some garages and some trailers around and some trucks as well. And so in the near future I will start recording some, some of these drives with more interesting cargoes. I've got some logging trailers, I've got some LPG trailers. I've already recorded a fuel trailer. This is an, another one, another fuel tra trailer that I have right now. But uh, this is not owned by me. This is a game given trailer. Oh, the other one is a pass-through. Okay, never mind. We can stop once. If I would hit it, that's the fact. There we go. The tunnel. Oh no, I forgot. 1.48 changed the default horn on the new Man DGX. I don't have the cool deep air horn anymore. I have a car horn now. At least I think. They did it. I'm not sure it could be one of the mods that I have. Uh, but yeah, I'll have to probably fiddle around with it a little bit. I'm not sure now whether it's one of the mods or whether the developers changed the horn actually. But yeah, I'll, I'll see. I'll, have, I'll, I'll fiddle around with that. This is the first time I'm taking to the highway, actually. I'm thinking about having this video, this stream, release sooner.
than all the other videos from Grand Utopia. But I'll see about that. That's an interesting turnaround loop. Oh wait, no, I'm supposed to turn off. I just misread the arrows. Actually, how fast can this trailer go? Does it have a speed? Oh yeah, it has 80, okay. Let's, uh, let's follow that. I remember that it exists. <laughs> what is the pass through? I have no idea. I think it's all of them. It seems to be all of them. Without any gates, actually, that's interesting. Alright, this is very nice, this part of the map. Basically, the reason why I wanted to stream is just so that I can provide commentary on some of the parts of this map. Because this is absolutely amazing. Like the way this is built, all the aspects of this. The way the highways are laid out, the bridges, the overlaps along with how it navigates through the city. It's so nice. Very well made map. Okay, did uh, save. My waypoints. In the video that's coming out around like I don't know 16 of September I think not sure where I take a fuel trailer through here I go over this bridge and along the airport on the left you can see the control tower a little bit maybe we'll even get to see the plane take off yep there we go But yeah, as you play this map, you just come across so many different places and you just want to drive through all of them. Yesterday I ended up on a small, like very tiny, narrow rural road. And man, it was amazing. It kind of reminded me of my homeland, though the roads are not really that narrow. And it was just amazing. Be and the, the, the trees that were lining the road and the bumps on it, the twists. You'll all see it in the video. 
it just all felt so beautiful and well put together so fluidly. Actually, is it possible? No, I'm not driving on it here. But it's this one here, the D28. And oh man, it was amazing to go across. <laughs> Can't wait to see what this one's gonna be about. I really wanna go through the town of Egeskov because it's just amazing. I wonder what this is gonna look like. And then we have just this beautiful little, I'm guessing, more in the plains road that goes into Lafalaise. Not sure how to pronounce it correctly though. We have enough fuel, so I'm not gonna be stopping. I just hope they'll still arrive during the day or maybe in like later evening. But this pretty much gives us an entire stream of golden hour <laughs> in Euro Truck on this map. Slowly drifting, I was opening a window, I'm sorry about that. Oh, there's a car now. <laughs> I've slowly drifted to the turning off lane. I was opening a window just to get some air uh, flowing in my room. We, I don't want to suffocate. Okay, let's, let's do 85 or actually let's just go 90 anyways. Not like the sticker on the back matters. Now this looks interesting. Called the Wildlife Overpass. It's the first one, I believe, that I see. Because I can't remember seeing any others of these on the map so far. Absolutely nice. the chat so that uh, it doesn't clutter up the screen. I should downshift. I can't as I'm drinking. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. <clears throat> hmm. We're on quite a bridge now. This looks very nice and interesting. Just climbing out of the valley up this hill into the mountains. Very interesting. That's the railway down there. That was quite a climb. Let's uh, get off the highway here. And down this slope. <laughs> it's scary. Little turn. Getting quite a lot of speed really quickly. Need to be careful on that. here. Okay, the main road goes down below us in here.
Oh wow, this is interesting uh, intersection. I like this design. This is a hidden road. Quite nice one to drive on as well. Train down there. Short one. To mine my lane. But yeah, I do like the work that's been put into this map all right like uh, for example the different maps of the island the railway connections map for example is just amazing like the depth of this is yeah easily the best thought of or like thought out maps available for the game Fun to drive, fun to read about, fun to look at, it's just, yeah, it's got everything to be honest. And then again, after all, it's called Utopia, so, of course it is amazing. It's a grand utopia as well. Big utopia. <laughs> I actually wonder here. There's this little road that goes into Egesco as well. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stay on the main road for now. Because that one is also fun to drive in. Small road like this. It's nice. Here's the little entrance. Nice on the road into the city. And once you turn this corner, it just gets amazing. Such a beautiful view. Side circle is a bus stop. I'm gonna go on the outside. It's 
very nice, very beautiful. Up. Go there anyways. But yeah, I absolutely love this town. Also another one that had very beautiful similar roads, but I can't remember which one it was. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to find it. I would have to go around and drive and stuff. Leaving the town now. First little rural, rural road over here, country road. But we're gonna go even on more fun. I've looked at this road before, and since then I've really wanted to drive it. Now I get a chance, and it's got the same wobbly characteristics as the other route that I took yesterday. Oh, this is fun. like a plane <laughs> with the tilt with the tilting on the road to super elevation I'm just gonna run with the first gear the second gear is not powerful enough, maybe. Oh, just, just, just buttoning out now. Now let's make our way around this house. That's a nice tower. This looks gorgeous. I have some writing on the side there about possibly about the tower. Very nice. Attention to detail. But yeah, stuff like this definitely helps for inspiration in trains as well. The stuff that I would like to build.
Alright, we've left that. Beautiful passage. Now we have to find our way through the tunnel. There is only 30 here, but who cares? I mean, yeah, I should, but... Eh. I just need to stop in time. Peekaboo! Oh yeah, I remember this road now. We went on it the other way. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's a bridge. That's a big, wonderful, beautiful bridge. I believe I can drive across it. I'm not too sure. I haven't tried yet. <laughs> Yeah, now we're heading towards Arlandis. Roughly half halfway there, I would say. Not sure. This is beautiful, though. I had to take a screenshot of that. <laughs> You can just see the mountain top in the back Just driving on a straight road through the valley It's so nice Could possibly use that as a thumbnail So nice though. Be more careful. <laughs> Alright, we've got another interesting road to take through Slico.
the giveaway sign, just to be sure. Alright, I have not driven out this way yet, so I have no idea how this part of the map looks. <laughs> The sound it tells me is going to be also amazing and spectacular. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna lose speed going up the hill. up to the AI in front. Oh wow, this is beautiful. This reminds me of some of the roads that I've driven on in uh, South Eastern Germany. Uh, like east of Munich and Nuremberg, like between those two cities and east of them is where I've driven when I was still working in Germany. And I have to say, those roads were absolute fun to drive on. Beautiful forests. Turns everywhere. Not really any kind of traffic. It was beautiful. In the winter as well as summer. I was lucky enough to capture both. Um, capture uh, three out of the four seasons there. Summer, autumn and winter. If, if, if you're interested in going somewhere, uh, consider Germany. <laughs> it's wonderful. Definitely visit Munich. Also got lucky enough to uh, see the Oktoberfest. Though I don't personally drink, it was still fun to go to that festival. But yeah, Nuremberg is also a beautiful little city. Well, little city. You should definitely check it out. This is a nice tunnel. We're going to Narnia now. <laughs> Although not through a wardrobe, but through a tunnel. Hotel Impeccabil. I think that's what it says, right? Yeah, Hotel Impeccabil. Okay. I like this little parking spot, but it's full. <laughs> well, technically it could fit in front of that truck and next to him a little bit. But yeah, not ideal. <laughs> I 
Right, we're going over a highway here. Where are we? Oh my god. Wow. This is beautiful. I would hope for the country road to be drivable, to be honest. <laughs> And like the, the creator of this has the potential to essentially in the future make all of the roads drivable. The fictional island and honestly I feel like that would be completely possible to do. Of course it's not a necessity. Just saying that it would be absolutely amazing and would put the the scope, the granditude of this map even higher. <laughs> it wouldn't be Grand Utopia anymore, it would be Grand Grand Utopia. This is nice. Going below the cliffs of the town to the cove. Very nice. Looks so good. Wow. I would look away more, but there's roads to follow. <laughs> wow. I'll definitely need to check out more of these places in my spare time. Of course, roundabout. Wonderful. Beautiful roundabout. Look at that, it's a fountain. So nice. When you take the exit and right in front of you is another castle. <laughs> I love this. Alright, another roundabout. Or? No. No, it isn't. Oh, wow. Interesting. That was also a very interesting bridge. Man, this is dope. <laughs> wow. Absolutely loving this. You can see the castle there. <laughs> so nice. I'm oh, sorry, car. No, did not want to squeeze you in. I guess we sit and wait. Hmm. My phone is running out of battery again. Wonderful. Ah! Already. I was not prepared. It's a little bit longer. Yellow. Oh, sorry, red. Uh, 
Möbler. <laughs> Not an Ikea, but Möbler. <laughs> I love that. Alright, let's take the turn. Ah! Let's take the turn that over. <laughs> Bus. <laughs> Hello, Bran. <laughs> welcome home and welcome to the stream. This is nice. With the little island as well on the road, that's nice. We go into the valley. Approaching Pausel, and then from there, just one more town, and we are there. gentle curves of the road. The irregular traffic is just so nice. Alright, in Bosel now. Uh, okay. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah, whatever. I guess I just scared the police car shitless. They probably did not expect me to stop or something. I don't know. Whatever. Top ten, anyways. Traffic laws obey. Let's just show the engine going up this hill.
pick a gear as well. Come on, they can climb this hill. We've done force. Wow. Holy hell. This is beautiful. On all aspects. They're in La Falaise. Around the boat coming up, so let's apply some wild braking. So we slow down in time. No one on it, so we can fly through. We are also wanting to turn off. Give way to you. Go. Nice and easy. Uh, where's the entrance to the industry should be somewhere there Are we good? We are. Prop. All right. <coughs> Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. Of the voice. So yeah. Um, gonna do some trains in a moment. Just need. I just want to take a little uh, break before doing that. But yeah, thank you for joining me here today for a little bit of Euro Truck. Follow Kango and follow Shardice if you're interested in their content. Follow and subscribe me as well, I guess. And have a wonderful day, morning, night, evening. Whatever, whenever, wherever. And I'll see you in a moment. Well, I, I guess roughly like 10 15 minutes for some trains around building again. Alright. Bye bye.